The reason the autonomous element is so important is because that will truly change the way we think about mobility all across the world. It will be very different when I can just hail a vehicle to take me from point A to point B without having to own an asset, without having to worry about who's driving that asset. The opportunity to open up mobility to people who don't or aren't able to drive today, it will truly be a game changer in the way we think about mobility in the future. So about a year and a half ago, we met up at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with a group of people that were trying to form the Indy Autonomous Challenge. So they really wanted the project to center around artificial intelligence and have universities from around the world to compete in a competition. They didn't really have the resources at the time to design and build the car. But luckily here at Clemson, we have this program, Deep Orange, where we actually design and build prototype cars as part of our educational process with our students. So it was a natural fit for Deep Orange to take on the project of designing the common vehicle that would be used for the Indy Autonomous Challenge. Motorsports, it really brings out these strong edge cases that you see for driverless vehicles. So in racing, all the time you see very close racing together, contact potentially, sometimes contact with the walls, also times where you're very limited in traction. So we call these edge cases. Racing brings all these to the forefront and makes you focus on them and brings them up very often. What it will ultimately do is help us learn how to deal with these cases. So when they come up in real passenger cars, it will provide us uh, with some knowledge to produce better safety systems to react in very compromised situations that we might find ourselves in on the road. For Deep Orange 12, we have to find ways to replace the driver. So we have to find ways to see like the driver would normally see. So we're using things like LIDARs, radars, cameras, GPS systems. Then the car has to think for itself as well, which is the onboard computing. We have multiple computers on board the vehicle. And then the last part that we're dealing with is the act. And that is all of the actions that the driver would normally do, which is steering the vehicle, braking the vehicle, uh, potentially using the clutch or also moving, using the throttle. And so we have what we call drive-by-wire systems for that to take over what all the driver's actions would be. And so all of that has to be automated. One area that we're really excited to see is how the learnings from this program is going to apply to the commercial world. Whenever you tackle a, a leading edge, completely audacious goal of having a, a autonomous Indy car going at 200 miles per hour, what we learn from here is directly applicable to the commercial world. One of the things that attracted EY to the program as well was an ability to help the students to understand the business of automotive. Because as these future leaders go out into the marketplace and they get their jobs, they're going to want to understand also how does everything that they've learned in school apply to the business world. And they try to commercialize the, the concept that they've learned here. We were drawn to it from the standpoint of autonomy is one of those leading edge technologies that's really shaping mobility of the future. And so all of our clients are trying to address these same issues at the same time. And here's a case, a use case, where we're really pushing the boundaries of what autonomy will actually show us it can do. An objective that the industry is trying to solve with commercialization of these technologies and helping students, our future leaders, get there to help them. I guess like why I think this project is going to shape the future of autonomous mobility and the automotive industry is just because it's going to spur a ton of innovation from our competition teams. We have people coming together with different ideas and we're gonna see what sticks and see what works the best in, this, in the Autonomous Challenge next October. This has not been done before. We have autonomous vehicles that are in production, but with a race car, it's a huge packaging problem for one. You have to package all of your components within uh, the vehicle in an efficient manner, while also maintaining the form factor of the vehicle. The car needs to have certain features built into it so that in the case of an emergency scenario, let's say that I, I draw a red flag, you know, what does that mean? It's not so easy to, to program that into the car. The Indy Autonomous Challenge approached Clemson to design and build this vehicle because we have this unique Deep Orange program. No other university in the world has the facilities that we do, the faculty and staff that we do, and also the, the academic framework that we do here in the Department of Automotive Engineering to execute a project like this. The previous Deep Orange projects really showed them that we can execute professional vehicles at the end of the day. And what is very unique about Clemson is they're doing that, they're integrating this vehicle and all of these different partners together while also educating the students.